The crime which we have to consider is an ugly thing. It is also, by its very nature, a secret thing. An extraordinary announcement from the management. This is the first time we have ever presented a story of this kind. Because it has been told so delicately, we believe every adult will want to see it. Our story takes place in eastern Canada, but it could happen to children anywhere, just as it did one day to Lucille and Jean. Stop! Stop! Help! I've got my purse! It's got all my money in it! Thirty-five cents! Oh, it's gone! It's gone! Was that your candy money? I'll never have so much money again in all my life! Never mind! Never mind! I know somewhere where you can get some candy for nothing. Oh, you didn't mean that, did you? About taking off all your clothes? Yes, I did. Why, why did you do it, Jean? Because Mr. Oldbury asked us to. Do you think he did what Jean said he did? Yes, I do. Actually made them undress. Apparently. If he touched her, I swear I'll kill the swine. You and your husband are strangers in this town. Nobody knows much about you. What has that got to do with it? Quite a lot in a place like this. I don't say it's right, but it's how things are. But you seem to forget that my husband has just been appointed principal of your high school. That must give him some standing in the community. Some standing. The older berries have a lot more. This is the mother, determined to expose a public menace. The father, thrown into the glaring spotlight of a public controversy. As an entire town is aroused by a question that challenges everyone, everywhere, every day. Never, never take candy, never take candy from a stranger.